Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you want to get a personal text reading with me, there is a link in the description box. Just click that link and that will take you over to my site where you can book it. All right, you guys. So let's get into, I'm going to do a Celtic cross. Let's see what the messages are playing out. Welcome everyone. All right, let's take a look for the rest of June. Take a look at the past energy, but let's see what's at the bottom of the deck here. Overall message. Okay, you've got the Ten of Wands. So coming to the end of a struggle here, Virgo. Physical labor, things you're stressing, feeling exhausted about, like you're just at the finish line here should be finished something by the end of june whatever you're whatever you're pushing forward <clears throat> you can actually drop these wands here you don't have to keep going here um something i guess it's been heavily on your mind perhaps a king of swords masculine or feminine energy um this person comes across as very courageous and strong but i feel like there's something here with the King of Swords where uh, this would be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, where it's like, are you tired of being alone in regards to this person? Um, it could be that, but for others, it's really just like something you've been reflecting on. Do you have the strength to keep going? It looks like maybe you're not going to keep pushing forward. You put in a lot of effort and energy into this person yeah wanting some kind of commitment but looking like hmm not sure maybe putting up some boundaries okay interesting so let's take a look at the past energy all right there was definitely a new start in the past a new potential love romantic type of a relationship looks like was at your doorstep the gift of love a new beginning your cup had runneth over in the past something just very beautiful beautiful connection soulmate a very happy joyous type of energy your present energy is <laughs> king swords what you talking about willis you're kind of like you go from this sweet loving person to like come over here i want to talk to you <laughs> present energy is definitely about communication something you have to say you want some clarity you're seeking some kind of truth right now yes right trying to overcome some kind of obstacle but being very strategic and you're ready to talk right now you're talking like what do you have to say what do you have to say because i'm here with my true sword that's you virgo you're sitting here with the queen of swords okay sitting here with the queen of swords and the challenge the benefit <laughs> to kind of get into your element here maybe you're dealing with another earth sign or like i said an air sign the challenge is for you to actually speak up that's what i feel like is going on here right you did see the the hermit back there with some kind of struggle maybe even too quiet looks like it's time for you to say something you need to clear the air not maybe you don't need to see clarity maybe you need to give clarity okay and virgo you're you're the challenge here is yourself you're in your own way of opening up your mouth and stating the facts in regards to another person you need to be truthful it seems like in this queen of swords energy it's a benefit for you to just blow the roof off of something here shock the world but virgos are generally like just keeping to themselves waiting now it looks like in june the rest of this month you need to speak up okay it's a challenge maybe you don't want to say anything because you're just going to destroy something and maybe that's the case but you know uh speaking if you're fearful to speak your truth because everyone everything around you is going to collapse then you're going to live in a steady state of being on edge just constantly being on edge clear the air get something out and make a decision about what you want to do that's your current energy here so you might be just kind of like oh you know 
not wanting to, not sure if you should. Now, what's driving this reading here? Yeah, there's there's a lack of clarity. I just keep saying it, like trying to get the truth. You can't really see. You're kind of like, it's like you're walking around your room. The lights are off. The moon is shining through the window, but it's giving off very little light. So you might stub your toe. You're feeling your way through this situation. And you're trying to get a feel for something. A feel for something maybe before you say anything or before you make an approach or you speak your truth. You're feeling it out. That's what's driving you. What's crowning here is, yeah, just want to be done with it. Like, you're procrastinating a little bit, perhaps because you're fearful of something falling apart or something being destroyed or ruining something or just, you know, chaos. But honestly, what's coming down upon you is this world energy. And this means to leave something in the past and keep moving forward out with the old and with the new. Start over. And if that means clearing the air, getting something out there, then that's what it means. Then that's what it means. So, you know, I don't know what happened, but maybe something stayed a potential. Maybe not. I'm not really sure, but I do feel like you have something that you want to say. or something that you need to know, and it looks like you need to put it out there. Because like I said... If you don't, I feel like you're just going to continue walking around, feeling your way through things and never really getting clarity. You know, the moon, it's kind of like the moonlight shines on the tops of things. Doesn't give the full, like the sun, the full illumination. It just shines on the tops of things. So things can seem deceptive. So walking around, you're, you're walking around in the dark here. And I feel like you're tired of walking around in the dark, but you're a little bit hesitant. Your Virgo energy is making you a little bit hesitant. Let's see what's coming up in the near future with regards to this. Wow, change. Look at all this major arcana. You can't change those cards. So change for the better. Something, Whatever this is, is going to work out in your favor. Whatever it is that you need to speak up about, it's going to be a benefit to you. It's a gamble, but it's going to work out. It will be in your favor. That's what the Wheel of Fortune is. Yep, there'll be a, a start of new growth. What the heck is that noise? <clears throat> there'll be new growth, a start of something new. Okay, an opportunity to actually see results of this change. Whatever this is that you need to do. Okay, so if you're walking away from something... It's going to work out for you because once you let go, you're going to start seeing these little saplings. <laughs> new seeds being planted. You're going to see new growth. Absolutely. Someone's going to pass the baton to you so you can light that baby on fire and see where the heck you're going. Absolutely. Ending something or getting clarity or giving some truth about something that you you want or you need setting maybe some boundaries whatever it is it's it's in your favor so if you like the near future just means you'll see the results of this so we are where are we at so we are in june okay so we're coming to the end of june so from this time of this reading i'm going to take this from like june to july so somewhere somewhere in like I want to say the first week of July is when you'll start to see some type of results. Okay, now your advice. Yeah, make that magic happen. Put it out there. What the heck is... Do you hear that? It's like a gigantic... 50-foot anaconda in my living room. Hissing away. Okay, so to get the magician, right. So your advice is to make that magic happen. Manifest, Virgo, manifest. Ooh, Knight of Cups. Put it out there. Put something out there, like 100%. Let me see. If this has to do with a relationship and you either telling somebody that, you know, you want a commitment or a proposal or a romance in a relationship, um... 
How are they going to respond to that? <laughs> this person kind of... I think they're kind of kind of like you when you're not being brave. Well, they're definitely going to think about it. But look, it feels like money is on this person's mind. And whether or not they should, they want to invest or not. They're, so the, like, what are they going to do if you put something forward? Yeah, they're like, I'll think about it or looking at their money. Yeah, I don't see any action with this person, but I don't see any inaction either. I feel like this person likes to hmm, converse with their thoughts looking out at the distance, trying to imagine or see how something's going to be. Um, and if they, if they invest, will they get back in return what they're putting into it, right? So they're all about themselves, obviously. I feel like this person is going to... So if, you're, if you want something from this person, you need to set a boundary or you're going to put it out there that you want something... I don't think this person's very much in like, oh, I'm going to give it to you because it's what's best for you. I'm, it's more like I'm going to give it to you if it's if I'm going to get something out of it. And everybody does that, <laughs> you know. Uh, I, I don't really have an opinion whether that's healthy or not. It really just depends. But I feel like this person's whole thing is, well, what will I get out of it if, if I invest in this with you? Now, this could be business. This could be a love relationship could be a friendship anything that where you're trying to get a need met well this person is also trying to get their needs met everybody out here trying to get their needs met everybody is everybody so it's a very transactional kind of thing maybe for you and maybe for this person it's it, for both of you it's like okay if we're gonna do this I almost feel like it's got to be kind of something like okay well this is what I want from you and this is what I'm willing to offer in return or asking them what do they want you know that's kind of what I feel like it's a little bit of a negotiation that needs to happen here um, not about asking them what they can give you but kind of telling them what you're willing to offer in return yeah and it's kind of like sitting down at the table and be like hey right here's the magician being at the table putting all your laying all your cards out on the table putting everything down there and saying look this is what I'm willing to give I'll give you one sword, one wand, one cup, one pentacle. Not giving you the whole thing. You're going to have to work for that. But, yeah. That's really... <laughs> I feel so strong about this right now. So I feel like this person will probably take a look and see, well, what do I have in my stockpile that I can offer Virgo? Or do I have what anything, anything here in my pile that I stocked up that Virgo would want? Yeah, it's, it's a very transactional negotiation kind of a relationship, you know? Um, I don't, f look, I, I, I don't have any cup, cup stuff here for this person. There's no emotion. This is more like practical. This person comes across to me very much in the King of Pentacles energy. Um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, earthy. Very practical, business-minded, you know, money, uh, goods, trading that kind of thing you know um and i feel like you're a little bit like that too however nobody's communicating because king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles aren't generally the first sign we're going to tap into for communication maybe more so virgo because of the mercury ruling but that's usually reserved for air signs so it looks like you have to be the one to initiate something here because you're sitting there with the queen of swords okay hopes and fears ah yeah of course virgo to think negative what if i lose out right and we saw that in the beginning where you had this thing like oh if i say something i'm gonna ruin it maybe i should just keep everything the way it is and just accept it well you're settling <coughs> Don't settle. Negotiate. You may not get everything you want, but try to get as much as you need if you're going to try to work on something here. Don't go around life, you know, like your world, just serving others. You weren't put on this earth to be of service to, um, like, a maid. Or, you know, if that's your job, it, you're, you're getting paid for it. Don't do it for free. Um, 
unless you're going to like, unless you go to your heart, you're going to help children or animals or the elderly, then I think that's totally okay, right? Or someone, you know, needs a couple of coins in their coin cup on the side of the street. Yeah, it's always good to be giving. But um, yeah, you have fear. You're definitely, even in the position of your hopes and fears, this is looking at the negative. Okay, let's see the outcome. Hmm. Well, this is left up in the air. Okay. There's going to be a lot of taking some time apart to figure things out. And then there will be an offer that gets made. I don't know what it is that you want. I don't know if this is what you're going to want, but there will be an offer. It's going to take time because this, it's going to, it's, it's, it's not going to be, it's almost like to be continued. <laughs> but the good part about it is that you do have the world. So that does make me feel like the lesson here is that you have to speak up. You have to say something or settle. So, you know, like even in a job, if you need a raise or you need more money, or something with a bonus or a promotion or better position. You know, you could stay where you are, just accept it, try to make do. But if you feel like you deserve more, then you gotta speak up. Now, is this person gonna just turn around and go, hey, yeah, sure. No, I think it's gonna take a little while. Um, I think there might be some talk. It's gonna it's gonna be slow, but there might be like this, okay, let me just let me look at all the options. You and this person, a little bit of them back and forth. I mean, look at the options and, you know, go home and think about stuff here. You know, um, I mean, definitely offers come in, but I don't feel like this is going to be one of those scenarios where, you know, maybe it'll continue into the rest of July when something more will come through. But for now, the overall message I feel for you, Virgo, is you have to talk. You have to ask for what you, you need or what you feel like you deserve. Maybe the challenge is, you know, that you're not really seeing your worth. Not really. You know, your value. Not, not money, but your self-respect and your value. And some of you just don't even want to bother with this and you want to manifest elsewhere. Your head's like, no, let me walk away from this. But there is some confusion still I'm not sure so some of you are not sure I feel like the message here too is really just about communicating you know talking about what you want and like I said I feel like things are going to work out if it, it, it'd be more in your favor if you do even if that means losing and not getting this need met I mean obviously if you need to ask your needs aren't being met anyway um so you're not really losing anything because you're not you don't have anything to show for this, right? Because it looks like it started as a potential and maybe it just stayed at the start. Okay, so whatever you want, ask and it shall be given. You just have to ask. That's the message. Speak up. Just say it. Take a chance. Take a risk. Okay, let's see your messages of love here. Messages of love for Virgo. New love. Or recommitment to love developing. Your true love is already part of your life. And it's time to decide about this relationship. This is, the re this is it. It's time to decide about this relationship, this job, this career bonus promotion, this friendship, whatever it is. You need, you, it's time to go. You need to do something here. That's what I feel. Yes, you got to speak up because you need clarity. You're you're walking around like I said. You're you're bumping off things. I don't even know that it's so much about what you want, but what you need, which is more important. Ask when you ask for what you want. I don't always think you get it, but when you ask for what you need, I feel like you have a good chance of receiving that. Yeah, challenges. <laughs> Make a decision. 
work on inner healing for some of you. Listen, I'm telling you. You're, like I said in the very beginning, you're coming to the end of this struggle. You're at the end. You're, you're like maybe 10 feet from the finish line. You just got to push through. Push through. Right? That's what that red ribbon and that wreath is, the victory. To be a winner here. You want to win that, that ribbon. You want victory, Virgo. I feel like it's a win-win no matter what because... If someone here is deciding that they can't give you what you need, you do have a new love opportunity that will obviously come in because you'll be open for it. Win-win. Winner-winner. Chicken dinner. Oh, Mercury retrograde in the reverse. <laughs> I don't even know if it's Mercury retrograde, is it? Does anybody know? Let me take a look. And, or at least when is the next one? Retrograde 2024. It might be coming up. Hmm. Oh. Well, not till August. August 5th through the 27th. So, why is it in the reverse? Well, in the upright, it says electronic issues, communication issues, review everything. Okay, well, it's in the reverse. <laughs> There's no communication issues. Maybe there's communication issues with yourself. Maybe you're short-circuiting, trying to get clarity about what you need or what's going to work for you. Like I said, to get what you need here, to get your needs met. I just feel like you need to do something. Because I feel like you're um, you're waiting, you've been waiting, or just hoping that something would just maybe suddenly shift or change, or maybe you feel like oh everything. I can honestly say like today I did wonder if Mercury retrograde was occurring. I can honestly say that maybe you maybe you've been spending your whole day like things have been going wrong <coughs> or little weird things. You're like, is it a Mercury retrograde? Because it sure feels like it, but it's not. I was having problems. Little, little, you know, the little molehills, not the big mountains. I was having little molehill issues today. And it was just like, what's going on? <laughs> but that wasn't the case. No, that was, that was not the case. Anything else for Virgo? Oh, gambling. Take a risk. Yep, take a gamble here, Virgo. You got to do this. All right. There might be some distance between you and your person. It could be physical distance or emotional distance. You need to bring that gap in or at least have that conversation. Look, shit or get off the pot, right? Don't sit on the fence. Make up your mind. What do you want? And ask if somebody, this person is able to give you what you need. Ask them. Just ask them. And, if, if, and wait for the response. And there's a response that's like, no, I can't give you all that. I can give you maybe this. Then you got to recheck yourself. Be like, am I okay with this? You know, like say you want to raise, right? Like say you want $10,000 a year raise. And they can only give you $5,000. Are you going to accept that? Or are you going to go look elsewhere? You got to make a decision. That's what. That's it. That's it. Just gonna get a couple of island time cards here and see what shows up. It's time to make a decision. Why are my cards upside down? Love, <laughs> self love. Love yourself, Ergo. Do this with self love. Whatever this thing is. The dragonfly. Be lighthearted. F around and find out. Things will come to light. You'll be able to adapt, change, and heal. Whatever the situation is, it will come to light. You will find out. But you got to talk. You got to ask. Oh, Cupid's arrows. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. And a little bit of hesitation. And we did see hesitation. Like I said, I do feel like this person is going to hesitate. Maybe step back. Think about things. And let you know it's just going to take a while if you have a deadline or you're in a hurry then 
you got to stick with your stick to your guns, stick to your deadline, whatever it is. Okay. I know some of you, if you got like, all right, I'll give it just a little bit more time, but I'm going to come back for that follow up to find out what's going on. But if it, if something here doesn't work out, there's always another, when one door closes, another door opens, or is it when one door closes, a window opens, something like that. So try not to get yourself in a state of despair. If you, if you're fearful of rejection, well, you know, that's life. Everybody gets rejected. Where are we at? All right, let's get into, let's see what the, the names are, the numbers, the names and the numbers. All right, and the signs. We have a Pisces, Aries, Capricorn, and Aquarius. All right, 1967. We have uh, 42, 55, 88, 1988. Uh, 36, somebody could be 36. Um, we have 23, could be August 23rd. We have 17, could be September 17th, birth date. We have a 6, September 6th. We have 39, 1975, 1981. Someone's 52. Someone's 61 or born in 61, August 31st. August 26th. September 5th. All right. June through September, significant months for you in regards to this situation. This whole thing might take all summer. Maybe you will find out by... Like you start it now, you may come to terms or things may get resolved by September. Or, you know, if you're like, no, I'm not waiting that long, then you're done, right? Be done. Uh, September 9th. All right, I'm picking up Jason. Uh, Sean. Hassan. Um, Jason or Jace or JC. Somebody's in New Jersey. Hello. Hey, I'm not proud. I'm not proud. We got the letter H. We got the A. We have a V. Letter O. Letter D. Letter two Ds. Todd or Rod. Um, two O's. Somebody's got two O's in their name or two V. Two Ds in their name. Um, somebody's getting their visa. Okay, we got a John. Somebody's name is John. Hmm. Letter I and the letter S. Oh. Heather. Picking up a Heather. Heath. Oda or Dota, Oda or Dota, Shay, like Shannon or Shavon, could be the Irish way you say Shavon, Neva, hmm. Vinny or Vincent. Two A's. Somebody might have two A's in their name. All right. Okay. And now, yes, I got my bowl of lucky charms here. So let's see what charms. What the F? What the actual... What the actual, do you see that? You saw me pick it up. I couldn't have done that if I tried. All right, we got two anchors here. <laughs> this can mean all of a lot of things. Big anchor, little anchor. This association with a ship or the sea or two people symbolically are just anchored to each other and can't let go or don't wanna let go or just we're not meant to be apart. But trying to sort things out, yes, for sure. Big anchor, little anchor. 
I don't even... Maybe two people have a boat. You each have a boat. All right, let's get... Oh, look at that. What is that? Oh, that's a horse. What? And a, <laughs> the pink kitty. Hey, I'm not going to get into that. Let me just say. Pink kitty for sure. That's a bald kitty. <laughs> Somebody could be born in the year of the horse or the year of the, the rabbit or the cat. But the horse here, maybe riding horses. Somebody's riding horses or betting on horses. Or that's your message there to take that risk. Remember? Gamble. I'm just astounded by these two. <laughs> I am. Seriously. I'm astounded by these two um, anchors that just fell out together. Yeah, that's very um, significant. Um, and it means to me that there's two people, like wherever you are, you're meant to be. And maybe you need to have a little faith, but I just keep hearing, don't quit. Sort it out first until you get all the information or you find out. You need to find out and you will find out. All right. Interesting. I'm going to leave that there. <laughs> that was definitely an interesting message. If you guys want to get that personal reading, don't forget. You can just go ahead, click the link in the description box below, and you can book the text message reading that I'm doing, text message reading. So I'm pretty much doing them kind of quickly. Moni76, welcome to the HOV gang. Marvita Causey, welcome to the HOV gang. Great to have you guys here with me. Um, all right, you guys. So I will see you all back here tomorrow. Bye.